You're watching SHOT Show 2016 coverage from the Gun Collective brought to you by Midwest Industries and Falcor Defense. Be sure to click on the links in the description to find out more about those great companies. My name is Ebbs with House of Guns, co-hosting the Gun Collective's coverage of SHOT Show 2016, and we are just finishing up our full range day here, day one, Monday, January 18th, 2016, and we're out here at the Clark County Shooting Complex at the Sig Sauer Range Day. Now, we got to see some interesting things, uh, excited about some things, a little bit disappointed by others. Uh, a few of the things we want to tell you about that are interesting start off with the new P210 9mm pistol. Now, the new SIG P210 is a reboot of the original German made single stack. Uh, P210 is a single action, safety driven pistol. Uh, we shot a, a kind of a standard model, uh, both five inch barrels, but we shot a standard model. We shot a uh, kind of a competition model. Marksman type model has has a deep grip swell, very comfortable in the hand. Uh, both have a right-handed safety. Sorry, lefties. Both have a about a three-pound single-action trigger, and both prove themselves to be extremely accurate, even at distance. We did some pleaking at the hundred-yard steel. Uh, also, another pistol offering we want to tell you about is a new rendition of the P320, and that is a competition model. Uh, it has different grip panels that allows for you to use a specific textured grip tapes, basically customize it to the user's preference. It has has what we would consider to be a finely tuned internal system compared to the, the, the original P320, uh, hallmarked by a staggeringly wonderful flat face three pound competition trigger. It has a very smooth pull, short and crisp break, and a nice short reset, very easy to be accurate with. Uh, and then topping it off, they have a, a very fine bladed fiber optic. Uh, target set of sights. The rear sight specifically is adjustable for elevation and then you can adjust windage on the front sight. That is something you're going to want to watch out for. Also on top of the P320 uh, is SIG's new red dot reflex sight called the Romeo 1. Now it would look similar to what you might expect uh, from like a Trijicon RMR or a loophole delta point but the window is flared so it has a wider sight picture, a nice fine uh, clear focus red dot on it and uh, you can buy it now in packages to install on your pistols uh, replacing the the beaver tail rear sight or having a slide or buying your slide from SIG already pre-cut to fit their new Romeo 1 reflex sight. Along with the Romeo 1, there's a whole family of Romeos that SIG is introducing in terms of red dot sights uh, from their, their optics division. Uh, it's one that we were really impressed with is called the Romeo 4M. And what the Romeo 4M does is, is it's kind of a, a T1, uh, H1, the, the, the small aim point size optics, but it has two different reticle offerings. You know, we often hear about the back and forth between aim point and EOTech, uh, which is better. We all know which is better, obviously, now, but, uh, but the reticle system, you're left with one tiny little red dot. Well, the Romeo 4M allows you to switch from that really fine two MOA red dot over to a 65 MOA circle with the dot in the middle that would look very similar to the EOTech that many people have become familiar with. Now we were disappointed to find today after covering all of these things and hoping to shoot the new MPXC, which is the carbine length barrel version of their 9mm MPX, that they didn't have it here. So we were hoping to top off all of our shooting by getting to see the MPXC, uh, at least handle it. But alas, it is in production, but they didn't have it here for us to shoot. The reason, we don't know why. Maybe we'll find out at their booth later this week. What do you think? I, I like that. I was using the circle reticle. I take okay. that. I love, I, I love that dot reticle. This has been the Gun Collective's coverage of Sig Sauer Range Day 2016. Thanks to our sponsors, Falcor Defense and Midwest Industries for helping us to get here. Be sure to click the links in the description to find out what those companies are more about. Thank you for watching.